It's here at last. Euro 2012 kicks off today and our reporters are all over it. The Poles take on the Greeks and Russia meet the Czechs. A full preview coming up from our team in Poland. The French don't fancy their chances, but England do. We're in the Three Lions camp. We exclusively reveal David Beckham's good luck message. And Kev the Psychic Chicken predicts tonight's matches. He's amazing. I love him. The joint hosts Poland kick off the tournament tonight and I literally can't wait. They take on 2004 champions Greece in Warsaw and our man Ash Sharma is somewhere out in the sticks in Poland. Well, the countdown has begun and like a bride about to walk down the aisle, this is the moment of reckoning for Poland. And while all the Poles will be excited to see the likes of Pacey fullback Lukas Piszczek, Arsenal's Wojtek Krzyzewski in goal, all eyes will be on one player, Borussia Dortmund's goal-getting hero Robert Lewandowski, a giant amongst heroes and strikers. As for Greece, they'll be praying for a repeat of Euro 2004, and their team hasn't changed out radically since then. Once again, they'll be relying upon Karagounis and his set pieces in midfield, and hoping that Samaras, the Celtic striker, can score their goals. Well, the second game from Group A also kicks off later today as Russia take on the Czech Republic from the Municipal Stadium in Roslav, and Sharma the Charmer assesses that one. Home sweet home, our lovely palace paid for by gold.com. And I've got the wrong keys again. Well, I'm sure the Russian coach Dick Advocat will be hoping that his strikers, such as Kashikov, Ashravin, Pavlichenko, can unlock the defence of the Czech Republic. He'll also want his team to keep up the good work. They recently beat the Italians 3-0. Not bad going, that is it? The Czech Republic are going through a period of transition but they do have a solid spine. You have Milan Barish up front, playmaker Thomas Rzyski, and then the Chelsea goalkeeping hero, Peter Cech. But will there be enough to stop out the Russians? Good to see the Charmer drawing a crowd. Well, to predict the results for tonight's matches, we've got an expert involved. Yes, it's Kev, our psychic chicken from Kiev. Another big game for the psychic chicken from Kiev. Oh, it looks like Greece might be in there, but it's Poland. The co-hosts get the nod. Well, what a big result this is for Poland. Greece thought they had it. Next up, Czech Republic against Russia. Oh, and it's looking good here for Russia. Oh, no, hold on a second. The Czechs from out of nowhere have got it. My, oh my, what a turnaround that is. Russia must have thought they were in there, but it's the Czechs who will be celebrating. So after day one of Euro 2012, it's Poland and the Czech Republic that are winners. I bloody love that chicken. Anyway, despite an unbeaten run that stretches 21 matches, France coach Laurent Blanc records his side are the underdogs to win this year's Euros. Monsieur Blanc is already starting the mind games ahead of the Group D match against England on Monday. Meanwhile, the three Lions are roaring with confidence ahead of the clash against Nibla. We know their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, we you know we're working on them this week, and uh, like you say, France look really good going forward. They've got some great individual players, but. No, I think on our day, so have we, and you know, I think it's going to be obviously a tough game for us. It's, you know, it's a great you know, opening game for us to play in, and uh, like I said, we're confident you know, we can get a result against France. We're all hungry guys, you know, we're all successful at football, and that's what we want. We want success. We don't want to go there thinking our oh, people won't mind if we lose. We have high expectations, otherwise there's, there's no point in being here. You know, we come to win, uh, we come to do well, we come to represent our country, and you know, we want to make people proud. Well, with England not kicking a ball until Monday, David Beckham was desperate to wish the squad all the best. I just want to wish you the best of luck. You know, I think you're going to do great in, uh, in that other country and everything. Uh, obviously, I wasn't picked and uh, quite sad. Um, but Stuart Pearce has asked me uh, to play for Great Britain. Yeah. But listen, guys, there's no way I'm going to play for Great Britain. You know, I would never play for another country. 
Goal.com have been exclusively speaking to former Arsenal and Germany goalkeeper Jens Lehmann and he says despite being one of the favourites to win the Euros, the Germans will do well just to get out of Group B. He also reckons should current keeper Manuel Neuer pick up an injury, then the Deutsches would need a miracle to win the title. Right you lot, stand by for Poll of the Day. Hi, I'm Tom from Warsaw. This is the Poll of the Day. We asked you what team will be the biggest flop at the finals and have a look at this result. A massive 33% of you reckon England will have us all in tears, with just over 24% backing Italy to fall flat, whilst Portugal got 21% of your votes. Another poll hits your screen tomorrow. That's your lot today. Sean Welby's on duty tomorrow for the goal line, so make sure you tune in then. Bye-bye.